We're talking about when your most scrutinous critic is your dad. <laughs> oh, I know about this one. Bite size, Rafi and clean. The same awesome flavor in a smaller package. And always filler free. May contain peanut gallery. Hola, you amazing artist, and welcome to the studio. Today we're going to talk about... What are we talking about? <laughs> when your dad is your art, is your harshest art critic, or yeah. any family member for that matter. Like when my dad walks into the studio, he's like, what is that? Points at my abstract, are you still doing those paintings about nothing? Why you put that there? Why you do that like that? Yeah, it's because that painting is about nothing. You're right, Dad. We have an awesome question from Tina Colburn. Hi, Hi Tina. Tina. Tina is Tina Colburn Art on Facebook. She listens to our podcast, watches our YouTube videos, and is one of our awesome patrons. Yes, we love Tina. Yeah. Okay, so her question is what we said, but also there's another twist here. Okay. So let me go ahead and read the question. Hi, Rafi and Klee. As you may know, my father is also an artist. Mm -hmm. So not only is he a family member, but he's an artist as well. Bum, bum, bum! He is very critical of me and my art sometimes. Many times in the past I've created pieces and he will say things like, why did you paint that like that? Or, you should have painted this. Nobody's going to buy that. Recently, <sighs> I know, right? Let's just take a pause here. <laughs> Recently I finished a piece and when I showed him, he asked, is it finished? This is the wrong color. I was quite proud of myself, but his one comment made me feel like a deflated balloon. Yeah. My question to you is, how do you deal with critical people in your life and not let it affect your self-esteem? Thanks, guys. Love, Tina. So the first thing that I wanted to say is, just because they're your family members and uh, they happen to be artists themselves does not mean that they understand your art or what you're doing. For a lot of artists, they think that there's like one path, right? Especially for artists that are successful or have been doing it for a while. They're pretty much set in their ways and they're like, this is the right way, this is the wrong way. I think because being an artist is riddled with insecurities... Like a lot of the insecurities that you have as an artist, your father's probably having those same insecurities. So like his way, this is where I talk about like when people put you down, it sort of inflates them a little bit. And it, it's not that your father is mean or he's doing this because he's unsupportive. It's just a lot of times it's very unconscious yeah. when we do that. I have to watch myself sometimes, especially when it comes to my kids. When my kids were here, um, Alex was painting something and Zach was being kind of like jerk face about it. And uh, then Zach painted something and I made a discouraging comment and like caught myself. I was like, oh, that's not that's not nice. But I was doing it because I was like, I need to knock you down a notch there, <laughs> to defend. boy. Yeah. And usually there's a lot of motivations behind why someone says what they say. And most likely, Tina, it, it has nothing to do with your art. If he's questioning something like, well, why did you do it like that? You could have blah, 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 blah. Like, that's not coming from a, a, a genuine, empowering place for him either. It sounds to me like your dad thinks that he's being helpful, but it also sounds to me like your dad definitely believes that there's a right way and a wrong way to do certain types of art. And so there's a couple different approaches, but I think the most important thing is to understand that his comments are not about you or your art that's his belief system yeah and if that belief system works for him then so be it but as far as your interaction with him you could shut him down and be like well that's not how you do it but that's how i do it or you could ask him questions like well why is that color not the right color explain this to me Chances are his logic would fall apart, or he'll give you some long-winded art explanation about why <laughs> colors work this way, or why this should be that, or why that should be that. But just because you're talking to and dealing with another artist who happens to be your dad does not mean that he knows all the things and has all the correct answers. Yeah, I, I think we cross a fine line there when we're dealing with, especially when we're dealing with our parents, because our parents already have one kind of relationship with us. There's something that happens when you you're a parent where like you assume that you know everything and about you, everything and you don't want to lose that 
um, that, that, that persona, that perspective that you think your children have of you. And so like, I, I feel like that happens when kids get older and they're, they're more along the lines of like, I think you're kind of full of shit, dad. And you're like, yeah. Yeah. You know, and well, me, I'm like, yeah, but somebody else might be like, no, because I'm not assuming to know exactly what your dad's motivation is, but I could speak from experience based on my dad, my own dad's motivation, because my own dad uh, is very supportive, but at the same time, not supportive. So it's this interesting mix where I get to see where like his insecurities might be shining a little bit brighter than the supportiveness and uh in what he says and the way that I've dealt with it recently, not in the beginning. In the beginning it used to bother me whenever he said anything. He would if he made a statement like, What why'd you do it like that? Or that one looks like your ex wife and I'm like, Why would I be painting anything that looks like my ex wife? <laughs> He'd make these comments and uh eventually I got to the point where I was like I kind of, I wasn't dismissive, but I just didn't take it in. So like when he'd make a comment about something like, why did you paint that like that? I'd look at him and be like, cause I did, you know, but you, I get it, dad. You just don't get it. And that's, those were the empowering words that I had for myself when it came to getting those comments from my dad. I would say, I get it, dad. You just, you don't get it. That's yeah. fine. I think that's the thing is once you understand, oh, well, they just don't understand what I'm doing. Yeah. It kind of takes that bite away. Yeah. Well, that's da, 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 da. And you're like, that's, that's fine, dad. I, I get it. Well, you're never going to sell that. I'm sure you think that you, you just, you're, you're not there. You don't, you don't understand this side of the art world. <laughs> Your dad's an artist. Yeah. Uh, he's a jewelry artist. A jewelry artist. He creates beautiful masterpieces. He's very traditional in a lot of ways. Yeah. He looks at your very non-traditional art and he's like... What? What? Why, why'd you do that? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, the thing is that dad also grew up in an environment where his father was very discouraging to him. So it's almost like it becomes second nature because he was so used to it growing up. That I've seen him have the realization after he said something that that's not what he wanted to say. Yeah, I, you gotta you gotta play it by ear. But most importantly, uh, don't be concerned about what he's thinking anyway. Just remember, like it, it's not about how you react to the comment. Uh, it's about responding, and to me, responding is being purposeful about the way that you uh, respond to the comment. So doing it in a way that still allows you to walk away from the interaction, feeling empowered and feeling like a badass instead of feeling deflated. Because if your reaction is to automatically get to a place where you get deflated, then you got to be a little bit more conscious about the way that you respond. It's because that's what I did. And, and it works for me now. And even though there are some times where dad could like zing, there's a little like, you know, oh, yeah. silent missile. That They'll just get them hits. in there. They'll get them in there. But then, then at that point, I think to myself, like, how can I respond to this a little bit better next time when it happens? Because it will happen. So the trick is not to take it so seriously. Yeah, don't take it seriously. Tina, hopefully this was helpful. And yeah. thank you so much for this awesome question. And Tina, your art is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So I just... Just keep doing what you're doing. Do it your own way. Uh, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. And it's okay that your dad is not your target demographic yeah. for buying your art. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And I'm curious to know how you guys handle uh, maybe getting some uh, not-so-constructive criticism on your art from family members who aren't being mean about it, but maybe they're not being so nice about it either. Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Clee. Good day. Adios.